Hello friends, Miss Farrington here with my trusty helper, Silly Maisie. Silly Maisie. And today we are going to be doing a fun pine cone experiment. So what do we have here? What is this Maisie? This is a pine cone. It is a pine cone. Well we've been learning all about trees and learning about tree parts. Now last week we learned about the parts of a flower and we learned that a flower keeps its seeds in the top part of the flower, the flower part of the flower. Now trees keep their seeds in many different places and a pine tree keeps their seeds in what we know as a pine cone. This is not a seed, but the seeds are actually inside of the pine cone, which is so interesting. Today, we're gonna do a little experiment and we're gonna see how pine cones protect their seeds. So some of the materials that we need for this science experiment is a bowl of water and a pine cone. Now a pine cone might be hard for you to find right now because we usually see them out in the fall and in the winter. So I just happen to have one. So you can just watch us do the experiment today and you can take notes. So as you know, good scientists always record their findings and their observations. So that's what we're gonna do today. I've included a sheet for you or you can create one just like I've created. I've made pine cone experiment record sheet over here and I made one box for the before and one box for the after. So we're gonna draw and write down our observations before we drop our pine cone in the water and then we'll do the same after. So you guys look closely at my pine cone. What do you notice about it? Maisie, what do you notice about this pine cone? Oh, maybe it looks like there are seeds inside. What else do you notice about it? Something else that we might notice about this pine cone is that it's, what color is it? Brown. It's brown. Very good, Maisie. It is brown. And it's open. It's open. Yes, it is open. for before what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a picture of the pine cone as we saw it that was nice and opened so I'm not the best drawer but that's how I'm showing that it was opened so one of the things we noticed we noticed that it was brown we noticed that it was dry and a little bit prickly we noticed that it had no smell. And we noticed that it was open, open. So now we're gonna take our pine cone and we're going to drop it in the water. And then, and you are gonna help me. And then we are going to wait, I would say about a half an hour 30 minutes and then we're gonna check on our pine cone and see what happens. So let's drop it in. Oh, it does float. That's another observation. It is floating. So now our time has passed and let's take a look at what our pine cone looks like now. definitely tell that it feels softer, not as prickly. It's definitely wet, not dry like it was before. It did not change color, it's still brown, still has really not that much of a smell, but the major difference is that it is closed up. So now the top that was open and the bottom was open, now it has totally closed up. 
which is so interesting. So I'm gonna go record my data and we'll talk about what this all means. So what we noticed afterwards was that the pine cone had closed up. It looked a little bit smaller than it did in the beginning. So it was no longer dry, but it was, it felt wet. And it didn't feel so prickly anymore. It felt a little bit softer. It was still brown. It did not change color. And it still had no smell. But it was starting to close up. So some of the things that we can learn from this experiment and observing the way that the pine cone closed up when it was submerged in water and it opens up once it's dry. That shows us the way that the pine cone protects itself and protects its seeds. So what it does is it closes itself up to protect the seeds inside when it does things like rain or maybe at night when it's colder, it might close up. And then in the morning time when the sun comes out and it's nice and warm, the pine cone will open up. So what an interesting experiment. So next time you see a pine cone on a tree or on the ground, take a look at it. And you can see if it's closed or if it's open.